Hey guys, welcome to Mode Bespoke. I'm Atenas, and today's tutorial is going to be for this super cute, super awesome crochet hat. So let's get started. So this is what our hat will look like once it is completed. And a couple of things about this hat. So on the written pattern, you're going to see the materials list calls for a size one fingering yarn. That's because for this hat, I did use a size one fingering yarn. That's the, my preferred size um, whenever I'm trying to make a more lightweight hat. However, if you're trying to make something that's a little heavier or you wanna use any other yarn, you can use any size yarn you want. So for the example we're working on today, I'm using a size three yarn, so it's a light yarn. Um, you can use a size four medium yarn or any other size you want. So looking at the pattern information, this is a size one fingering yarn, but I use two threads simultaneously. So I'll have two skeins of the same color usually. So I have my two skeins and then I line up my threads just to make a slightly thicker one. And then I start to crochet. So for this hat, I used a 4.25 millimeter hook. So this is a G hook. And I did the same thing for the brim. So the brim is the Tunisian crochet brim. So I'll link the pattern and the, the video tutorial for this somewhere up here on the screen. You'll also find it in the description below. Um, but this is the Tunisian one. It is reversible. So this is one side and this is the other side. So this hat, I made it longer so that it could be a slouch. So it's a really long slouchy hat, or it can be folded over and worn as just a regular hat. So this is the one side. Here's the brim on the other side. And then here's the stitching on the inside. So you can also wear it as a slouchy beanie this way. So this is what we're going to be working on today. So for this tutorial, you can use um, a, I, any of the brims. I have two brim patterns. So this is the Tunisian crochet one. You can also use the ribbed brim. So I do have a tutorial for this one. I'll link this one somewhere up here as well. And you'll find it in the, in the description box. This one's a little easier. So if you're um, a little newer to crochet, this one might be the easier brim to use. So I'll link all of that up there. This one's also reversible, but it looks exactly the same on both sides. Whereas this Tunisian one looks different. So here's one side and here's the back side. So they're a little different, um, but you can pick whatever brim you want to use for this pattern. The written pattern does have this Tunisian crochet. So if you purchase the written pattern from the blog, um, this is the brim that it walks you through. So you'll get that brim pattern as well. Both of these brims, however, the pattern, they, it is available for free on the site. So you'll find both of these. I also have a couple of pictures on there for the different projects I've used them for. So you can get an example of what it looks like on a finished hat. So you'll see some of the Tunisian hats. You'll see some other crochet hats with um, the Tunisian brim as well as the ribbed brim. So moving on, um, let's get our brim. So I got... Uh, I already made my Tunisian brim. We are going to work this in the round. So you will need to sew it shut. And then on these brims, there's always one side that's nicer than the other. So just take a look at the sides. I want this one to be at the bottom and this to be the top of the hat to come out this way. So I'm gonna keep my brim this way. Now for this yarn, this is a size three yarn. You can also use the same size hook for a size four. So if you're using a light or medium yarn, I would use a 5.5 millimeter hook, which is an eye hook or a six millimeter hook. So if you want the stitching to be just a little bit tighter like this one, go with a 5.5. Otherwise go with a six millimeter hook. So, but this yarn, um, this one is the comfy cotton blend. So if you've never seen this yarn before, it is available on the, um, on the blog, on the website. You'll find the link in the description box below. But um, you can find that there. It's available in a bunch of different colors. If you do order it from the website, it, the orders are fulfilled by Amazon. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you should still be able to get your uh, two-day shipping. 
Okay, so let's get started with this. You're gonna need a couple of different materials as well. So you'll need your yarn. You can use as many colors as you want. I'm gonna use this blue one for the example. Um, this is gonna be a completely gray hat, so you'll see that in, in the pictures. But so you can see what I'm doing, I'm using my blue yarn. You're gonna need a yarn or a tapestry needle. Any needle that fits your uh, yarn will work just fine. If you don't have those, those are also available on the website as well as there's a link in the description box where you can find a lot of these materials. Um, a pair of scissors and then you will need your either 5.5 or 6 millimeter hook. So now let's take a look at our hat here and as you can see there's a little line on, here, let's flip it over this way, on the brim. So this little line right here that's the screen one, it will be more visible if you use the finer yarn. It won't be as visible with uh, the thicker yarn. So it'll be a little more invisible. Now, if you want this line on the outside like this one, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip your hat, or your brim, sorry, inside out. And you're gonna work on this side to start that very first row. That'll create this little line. If you want this little line to be a little more hidden, then you're going to flip your brim so that you're looking at this, the knit pearl side. And that's because this side is a little fluffier. So this one, it's a little bit easier to hide your stitching, especially if you're tightening up the stitches as you go. So we're gonna work into, so I'm gonna work on this side just to show you what it'll look like if you sew on this other side. Okay, so pick any, any stitch on the top of the brim. Just make sure it's the top part where you want your beanie to be. So pick any stitch. So I'm just gonna go into here leave a nice long tail of yarn. We're gonna weave that in later. Wrap the yarn around your hook and pull that through your stitch. And now you're going to chain one. So here's your yarn. You're gonna wrap your yarn around your hook. And you're gonna pull it through this bottom loop. So there's our chain one. Now we're going to begin with our single crochets. So this first row is going to be all single crochet. So you're going to insert your hook behind the post or behind the stitch and pull it out the other side. And then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull your hook through. You're going to have two loops on your hook. Now you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops for a single crochet. So let's move on to this next stitch. So just kind of move your stitching around. So you've got a post right here and then you've got this one over here. Just go into the next available one. So let's go into this one. Insert your hook behind the post and then through the other side. You're gonna wrap your yarn around your hook and you're gonna pull through. So you pull up a loop and now you have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. Now let's go into this next one. Insert your hook all the way through, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And you're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. So you're going to do this in every one of the posts of the round. So just single crochet all the way around. Let me do a couple more really quickly so I can show you what it looks like. In case you want to switch the side. So I think that should hopefully be enough. So we're gonna work into these stitches next. So this is just gonna be flat. This is what the, the edging is gonna look like, which you'll see more later, because this is the side I'm gonna work on. So we're gonna work on the blue side. This is what it looks like on the back. So these stitches, See that's down there, but because this yarn is thicker, it lays a little bit more over those blue stitches and it just kind of hides them a bit better. So if you don't want this stitching to show, then just use a thicker yarn. So you can also use a thicker yarn for the brim and then just use the thinner yarn for the top as well. All right, but I'm gonna continue working the single crochet all the way around, I'll meet you when I get to this side. Okay, so I finished working all the way around. So we're at the other side. We've got this little space here left, but we gotta close our round. 
So to close around, just go into this very first stitch. So this one might be a little tight, so try to find a space where you can easily insert your hook. So insert your hook right below that stitch, then you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you're going to slip stitch. So you're going to pull this top loop through this bottom loop. And there you go, you've closed your round. Now for this next row, we're going to start with a chain one. So yarn over and pull through. So you have chain one. Now you're going to go into the next stitch. So it's right over here. It's pretty small. Right there. And you're going to half double crochet. So to half double crochet, you're going to yarn over. So wrap the yarn around your hook. Insert your hook into that stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. So you'll have three loops on your hook. Now you have to yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that is a half double crochet. The next stitch is a slip stitch. So go into the stitch, yarn over, and then you're going to pull up a loop. You're going to pull this top loop through this bottom loop. So then you're going to pull this top loop through the bottom loop for a slip stitch. Now let's move on to the next stitch and this is going to be a half double crochet. So for the rest of the row you're going to do half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch all the way around. So let's do this next half double crochet together. You're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you're going to pull this top loop through this bottom loop. Now we have double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. And slip stitch. So continue this pattern all the way around the hat. So it's going to be a half double crochet and then slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch. I'll see you when you get to this side. Okay, so we've made it around. So I have a half double crochet to work here in the second to last stitch. And then I have a slip stitch. Now, if yours is a little bit different, so if you're not ending on a slip stitch, you're ending on a half double crochet, don't stress out. It, I'll show you how you're just going to start the next row. So it really doesn't matter whether you end on a half double crochet or a slip stitch. So let's just get this last slip stitch here. Okay. So here is that first stitch that we did. As you see, I ended on a slip stitch. So if you ended on a slip stitch, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go into this next stitch right here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. So that was that chain one that we made. So go into that chain one and you're going to make a half double crochet because above that very first half double crochet we made at the beginning of the row, you're going to crochet a slip stitch. So now you're going to reverse the stitching. So if it was a half double crochet, you're going to make a slip stitch. And then on the slip stitch, you're going to make a half double crochet. That's what's going to give it this kind of spiraled look so that it starts going diagonal. That's what's going to create that look. So let's go back to here. So I have to keep adjusting my lighting. It's all, it's cloudy out here. So a little bit of brightness just throws off my camera. So here we go. There we go. Okay. So back to this stitch. I'm going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert my hook into here, half double crochet, and then here's my half double crochet. On this stitch, I'm going to make a slip stitch. And then I just keep going. Now for the rest of the hat, I don't have to worry about ending the round. You just keep working. So you keep working in, in the round and that's it. No, you don't have to worry about 
what that first stitch is gonna be, what I'm gonna do next. Nope, you just keep working alternating between your half double crochets and your slip stitch, and you'll be able to complete the rest of the hat. Now, if that last stitch was a half double crochet, so I'm just gonna skip all this, pull out these stitches. Okay, so this is my half double crochet. Oh wait, no that's not, that is. So you're here at the end of the row, this stitch right here, you made a half double crochet, and now you're right next to this. So this is that first half double crochet of the row. Instead of starting with that half double crochet right here, just work a slip stitch. So you don't even have to worry about this first stitch. Just go right into the stitch right above your half double crochet, because you're gonna be right next to it. So we're gonna be right here. I just, oh, here, I'll just make one. There we go, now it'll be easier. The very next stitch of the row, you just make a slip stitch. And that's it. And now half double crochet. And slip stitch. Half double crochet. And then slip stitch. And that's it. And you've begun the next round and the rest of the work. That's all you have to do. So the entire top part of the hat, you're going to work in the exact same way. Just alternate half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch. If at some point um, you notice that your stitching is no longer curving this way, chances are you missed a, a stitch somewhere. Um, and all you have to do is just kind of go back and look at the shape. So if it's no longer going diagonal, just find the place where it stopped, go back to there, and then use the different stitch. So if it was a half double crochet, switch it to a slip stitch and vice versa. And that way you will get this shape. So once you get to the top, now I didn't talk about this at the beginning of the video, which I should have, but if you need the sizing chart that is available on the blog, that one's free. You don't need to purchase the pattern to get the sizing chart. That's gonna be on there. I have sizing from, I think it's newborn all the way to adult. So that way you know how big to make your elastic. The sizing is also available on the video tutorial and the pattern for the um, for the brim. Sorry, I keep calling it elastic because I'm also filming this in Spanish. And in Spanish, it's just an elastic. So um, for the brim, you, the sizing chart is also available on that pattern. I'll link all of that down in the description box below or you can check the videos for those as well and you can find it there. Now, for the hat height, so a standard size beanie would look a little more like this. I made this extra long. So the measurements you're gonna see there for the hat height are just standard hat heights. So you would get a hat this size if that's the, the height you went with. And then you have to include the brim on there. So however much the brim is, plus you know what you're gonna crochet to give you the hat height. So if you want something this long, just keep crocheting. That's all I did. I didn't use a specific measurement. I just kept going until um, I reached a length that I liked. And mostly I just tried it on. So I threw the beanie on and then I looked at how much it was slouching. So once I found the size I wanted, that's where I stopped. So keep crocheting until you get the height that you want. And then we're gonna cinch the top. So I find that cinching is just the easiest uh, for me to close hats with. I like the way it looks. And it also makes it really very easy to attach pom-poms because you have all of this to work with. So I really like to use it. It just makes it so much easier I think all around but um, if you don't want to cinch the hat and you want to do uh, and you just want to work it in the round and then do decreases if you have a way that you like to do it just leave it down in the comments below um, most of my hat tutorials actually I think I only have one that I did decreases all the other ones I just like to cinch again it's a lot easier for me um, and it's also really easy to attach pom-poms and I think it just looks nice um, but yep so if you have a way that you want to do the decreasing, leave it down in the comments. Somebody else might be interested in doing that as well. If I see that comment, I'll just go ahead and pin it on top and that way we can share with everybody. But that's all there's to it. I'll keep working on the rest of my hat. Um, I'll show you how to cinch the top once I finish. So I will see you when I get there. All right, so I completed a few more rows of my work. Um, I, I hit the hat height that I wanted. I just have another row to do. I decided I liked this color combination, so I kept it. Um, something I don't have on the pattern because it was just kind of spur of the moment um, are these are the just the different colored stripes. So I thought I'd show you how to switch colors in case you wanted to do stripes. But 
it is that part is not on the pattern so the pattern has the brim and it has the, um, the explanation for the stitch as well as the sizing and all that but it does not have these color changes this is up to your creativity you can do it however you want I'll just show you how to switch color though in case you do want to use different colors for your hat so that's all the yarn I have left here so to do your color change what you're gonna do is you need to work into a half double crochet stitch so I just did a slip stitch let me zoom in just a little more so once you do your slip stitch you're gonna start your half double crochet stitch so yarn over insert your hook into the stitch yarn over and pull up a loop so you're gonna have your three loops on the hook that is when you introduce your next color so leave a nice long tail end of yarn wrap that around your hook and then pull that through all three loops and you just have to tighten the gray yarn or the other yarn that you used drop this little tail end and then just keep working the rest of the row so in this case slip stitch and then half double crochet slip stitch once you work your way around so once you've worked the entire row and you've come all the way around you're gonna have here's the last stitch and then the very first stitch in your new color you're going to have to skip a stitch so pay attention to your pattern by now you should have figured out the pattern in which you've been crocheting so whether you have a slip stitch and then a half double crochet or whether you have a half double crochet and then the slip stitch all of that uh, is dependent upon this first row that you did you probably already have the feel for it by the time you've gotten this far in the hat if not it's just a matter of looking at it you can see your half double crochets are these big ones and the slip stitch is just this little one usually right next to this little space right here so you're going to have to skip a stitch in order to keep the pattern otherwise you'll mess up the pattern every time you switch color so what you'll do is just pay attention to this last stitch that you did so I did a half double crochet which means I have to do a slip stitch next I'm going to skip the gray and go into the blue so or you can pick one and then skip the other doesn't matter you have to skip one of these two so I'll do my slip stitch in that blue one to close my round and then I'll just continue my round so then I'll have my half double crochet because I have my half double crochet is to the right of my previous half double crochet so I just continue the pattern that I had yours might be the opposite just look at your stitches and you'll be okay but that's it you just keep on working until you make your way around and just make your um, your stripe as big as you want it but that's just kind of an added you don't have to do that you can keep this in the in just one color and it looks gorgeous like the green one that I was showing you earlier so once you have finished all of this you've gone around you've done everything you've wanted you've got your hat as high as you want it to go there we go you're going to finish this top round so what I generally do once I finish it doesn't matter whether you end in the half to or the slip stitch or the half double crochet just pick the end once you're ready to stop and then you're going to do a chain one and what this is going to do is it's going to make a little knot down here so it'll be your chain one knot that up and then we're going to start with the sewing so for the top we're just going to cinch it closed I don't have a lot of this gray yarn left so I'm going to use the teal yarn to do this so let's get this all set up so insert your your hook into any stitch and you're gonna leave a long tail of yarn and just slip that through there you go it's just to slip the thread through it's a little easier with your hook all right so remember to leave that long tail end of yarn you're gonna weave that in later just knot it up here at the bottom and we're ready to begin you are going to need a yarn or a tapestry needle for this part so just any needle that fits your yarn will work just fine cut a nice long tail of yarn you're going to need at least maybe like a foot of yarn so that way you can use this yarn to cinch the top of your hat so you're going to pull that through 
your yarn or tapestry needle and then we'll get started with the sewing. So you're going to start by just sewing in and out through every other stitch. So that's just the easiest way I found. So just pick a stitch, insert your needle into it, and now skip a stitch, go into the next one, and come back in through the other side. So you're going to stitch towards the back, skip a stitch, and then sew towards the front, skip a stitch, sew towards the back, and so forth. This part is just really easy. You just pick a couple of stitches, just kind of sew through, and it'll start to close off the top as you pull on your yarn. So I'm going to keep stitching along here uh, through the top part of the hat. I will see you when I'm very close to the end, so I can show you how to close the top. All right, so I have a couple of stitches left. And here are these tail ends here. Let's just tuck those in so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're nearly done. So you can see when I pull on my hat, it will close the top part. And there we go. It makes this nice little star pattern here at the top. I like how this looks. So now the last thing that's left is just to sew the top part. So you're just going to sew across. So I'm going to sew in between the little uh, star, I guess little points of the star if you want to call them that way. So I'm just going to stitch in between those and then across. So the goal is to just tighten up the inside or like the middle section so that it has enough of a foundation to sew on a poof if you want to do a poof or a pom-pom, whatever it is you want to sew up on top, that you'll have enough support for that and so that it'll keep your hat closed. So just go across uh, a few times, just go in and out through different parts of the star and get it all sewn shut. Once you are done, just knot up the top part. So I like to do a double knot up here at the top. So there's one. Then I'll knot it one more time and then I'll weave in the end that is left here of this yarn. So here we go. And there it is. So now all you have to do, just go through, weave in all of your ends, because there are several, especially if you did the color change. If you don't know how to weave in ends, check up here at the top corner. I'll link the video tutorial, because I did make one specifically for weaving in ends. Um, but that's it. So here, let me show you what this will look like. So yeah, if you have, if you've changed colors a few times, you're going to have a couple of tail ends. So let me flip it inside out. So see, you're going to have to weave all of these in. So that's the only downside to having a whole lot of colors on you in your crochet work is that you always have to weave in these ends. But the stripes are completely optional. You can just work this hat in the one color and then do a different color brim or do the entire thing in just one single color. It's up to you. It's a really easy pattern. It's very versatile and you can make it in any size. Don't forget to swing by the website to look at that sizing chart. It is available for free. You don't need to purchase the pattern to get the sizing chart. You can just go check that out on the website. You can also find all of the materials you're gonna need for this project, as well as all of my other crochet patterns available on the site. Um, it's gonna be under the shop tab. So you can find that on the main page of the Mode Bespoke website. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I post videos every Thursday. Go check out the Instagram page. I have loads of pictures for projects that are coming up here in the future, things that I'm currently working on, and I like to ask you guys all kinds of stuff on there too. So go check that out. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video tutorial, give it a thumbs up and share it. I love it when you do that.